like a second. Um, but first I want to do like a little icebreaker. So, <laughs> so I'm going to ask you both a question just about yourself and like something fun or like your favorite place. So I'll get started first. Um, and Catherine, we should be able to hear you. So we'll just test that at, out. Or if not, you can just type it in the chat. I'll totally back. So my name's Darlise and I'm a success coach here. And um, that basically means that I do fun stuff like this, <laughs> helping students learn about time management and different ways to be like super successful in your classes and to feel good about it. And that makes me happy. And, um, but my favorite place or place to be is definitely like the beach or somewhere like near some water. I just love to be able to put like my feet in or just look at it and be like, oh, I should have brought a book. <laughs> So that's fun for me. Um, would anyone like to volunteer? Or Catherine, you could unmute yourself or type in the chat, whatever is most comfortable. Uh, I'm Michelle. Um, I'm a student here. Mm -hmm. here. Um, I'm not sure what my favorite place is. I like to be in my house, nice. but I also like uh, roller skating. Ooh. So the, the roller skating rink is nice. Oh, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. When's the last time you've been roller skating? Uh, it was a while ago. It's like it's like ten dollars every time you go, so I don't want to like oh, be spending ten dollars all the time. I can totally see that. Totally see that. But roller skating sounds like really cool. Yeah, yeah, I love that. And Catherine, for sure, if you wanna um share a little about yourself or type in the chat, that would be awesome. Uh, um, a little about yourself and where um, is like your favorite place. Well, as we wait for Catherine to type that answer in, I'll do my best to keep looking. Okay, perfect. That makes it easier. Um, but today, basically, what we're going to talk about is time management and procrastination. And I'm sure this is probably a little distracting. Hello. Hello. Hi, Ivan. Not sure if you can hear us yet, um, but if you can, totally hey. <laughs> Hopefully you're doing well. Um, I actually worked with Ivan before, so this should be super fun. So today what we're going to talk about, um, just kind of like an overview, is time management and definitely how procrastination can kind of mix into that. And so totally, um, if you have any questions or kind of tips or things like that, you can just let me know or unmute yourself or put in chat, whatever. But totally, we can be able to talk to you. It should feel kind of natural. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, we'll get started. Mm -hmm. Okay. So today we're going to talk about a couple of different things. So one, considering kind of like what your normal day-to-day -day looks like, we're also going to talk about different resources that are here to help you, of course, and um, talking about procrastination and, of course, giving you some tips so that way you can be able to merge all of this together so that way you can kind of have a plan um, as to how like, you're going to organize yourself a little bit moving forward mm -hmm. and you're literally going to leave with a plan. So that should be really, really fun. Okay, so I'd like us all to kind of think about like what our typical day-to-day -day looks like. And so um, kind of when I think about my day-to-day, -day, it, you know, maybe involves waking up, probably when I go to work or school, definitely do both of those too. Um, like a lot of other students sometimes, or no matter where you are in that, right? But Having classes kind of is something that we have to find a way to like make time for. And those only things that we can talk about too. Um, but definitely like those things that are like priority or like that always happen. Um, those are things that kind of have to account in there, um, which can be hard when we have so much free time or not enough free time. And it's definitely a little tricky. Mm -hmm. So with time management, something for me that um makes it hard is totally like procrastination because sometimes we want to like do something but it's also like oh we can just kind of get to it a little later but 
that doesn't always result in the best things, right? And I think we've all been there for sure, so we'll definitely talk about that too. So in this typical day-to-day, -day, it usually looks like having your schedule, work, free time, kind of like we were talking about, and anything else that kind of may fall into your day-to-day, -day. Um, but definitely having anything that can kind of help you organize yourself, um, whether that's like a sticky note, um, like a planner, um, just anything that kind of helps, your phone, of course, that can be a really good way of organizing yourself. So what do you think is like your favorite way to kind of organize? Um, at least for like my, my time, like, you know, I like the, like the things so I have to be in a specific area yeah. at a specific time. I like to use my uh, Google Calendar because, you know, it has like the automated, like, I do this every two weeks and you can plug that in and it'll schedule it like every two weeks. And so that's really convenient. That makes sense. I can edit the dates. and I love that. <laughs> that's something that actually we're going to talk about today, too, okay. because, yeah, that's a really, really, really good tool of using, like, Google Calendar mm -hmm. and just editing things in there. And then it can make it even easier to, like, make it colors mm -hmm. or just title it whatever you want, add those notes into it, and it can be really easy. So I love that you have something that you're already using that you like. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I have a I have a planner, but I don't I have like a physical planner, but I don't mm -hmm. use it much. Yeah, and sometimes we all do that too, right? I know I've definitely bought planners and maybe used it for like a week or a day. <laughs> And it just never fully gets used, but you know, we all definitely have the different things that feel good to us. So using that is kind of what's the most important. So this can be a really good example of how you can like use a, a physical sheet of paper to make it to use the schedule. Um, but like you said, whatever you like to use as far as seeing it, that is probably like what is best to keep using, yeah. right? And so it's sometimes good, um, you know, to be able to see different things to maybe have an idea of how you can even organize yourselves. And these are some templates that we do have here from Learning Commons or even our website that, of course, you can be able to print. And so um, this is like a to-do list, right? So sometimes um, we have our week schedule, but sometimes for the day, there's different like priorities or they're not on the same priority. And so we're able to like even organize them from like things that are like urgent to things that are like not urgent. So kind of like keeping the more important things per se at the top and then like being able to organize what those are. But that's definitely one style. Um, I know a lot of our coaches use that or some students as well. Um, but this week schedule is definitely something that I really enjoy to do. Um, to be able to see like what you're gonna work on for that week in just like one clear just kind of place. Um, but like you said, whether that's online or like on the sheet of paper, it doesn't really matter which way works for you. Um, but as long as you you know continue to use it, now you like it. So let's talk about kind of our feelings and like how time kind of goes into our classes, right? So when we think about maybe our favorite class, that may be a little bit different from like our least favorite class. Now, why do you think that that may be? Uh, you want to do the work for your favorite class more? Yeah, for sure. Like our favorite class is like exciting to us. We're like, oh my gosh, this is so interesting. Like you're actually thinking about it or it's like fun to do. But then the like least favorite class is kind of more like, can we like not do this right now? <laughs> you know, we all have different things that is that for us, whether that's um like writing or math or science or who who knows what it is. But you know, everybody feels like really comfortable in maybe something and then maybe a little less comfortable in something else. Um so that's just kind of how it is. But it's also something that we can think about because like you said, if we want to spend more time on our favorite class and less time thinking about our least favorite class, then that probably makes sense. And um, we can kind of incorporate that into our plan too. So now let's think about having like a set study time. So what do you think about like how you naturally kind of study or work on your homework? Um, I have a lot of time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But like on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I have like my, all my classes are in like the middle of the day, so I can work on work before or after them. <clears throat> I usually won't work. I I want to work on stuff before, but I usually don't get around to it. Yeah, yeah. But 
I, I I'm gonna start coming into work like an hour later, so I have a little bit more time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mm. Nice, nice. And see, that kind of is like a really good way of thinking about like what time you actually do have, like you said, because we can't really plan into time that we don't have, you know? And so we do think about like, you know, our day to day or like even like our week or I don't know, month, we can do that. <laughs> it's kind of um, interesting to see like when we actually do have time and like how we can maybe find more time or waste more of a little bit of time that we do. Absolutely. When I was like going to like high school, middle school, like you know, like I had to get up at, and like get ready in an hour and then go. But like now that I don't have to do that, it's harder to. Yeah. No one can be accountable for yeah. it. Exactly. I don't, I don't have to. I don't have to be here at nine a.m. Right. But I uh, want to so I can get work done. For sure, for sure. And there's so many other reasons, right, like that we may like not do the things that we have to do too. But sometimes it's like really exciting or like you really want to do it and then we're kind of like, oh, do something else either way. Like, um, so it kind of, it's interesting how procrastination works or just yeah. how we prioritize things. Um, but definitely uh, like school is like something that's, I guess, trying to help us do more of like learning how to do that. Mm -hmm. So that way, like in our life, let alone in our jobs, right? Or like, especially the careers that we want, we can be able to do more of like the things that we want to do and feel good about it. Perfect. So since we were kind of talking about breaks, that's a really good leeway. So sometimes we don't have hours on hours, right? But um, if you do have a little bit of time, sometimes like 15 minutes, that can be a good way to like look at some notes, just kind of review something, maybe even watch like a little video. Or if you have 30 minutes, maybe you can use our tutors. We have like tutoring here at Learning Commons online or in person. And our coaches, right, you can work with us and we can kind of talk about like your classes and just kind of how you're balancing them or make a plan. Or if you have like more than 45 minutes, maybe you can even make your own like study tool or like, you know, whatever you kind of need to do. Um, but definitely knowing kind of like trying to make a whole flashcard for like a, over a hundred words. If you only have 15 minutes, it's probably gonna make you feel like bad that you don't have enough time to do it or, you know, you just don't finish it. But maybe it's because we're like trying to do too much time in that little bit of time. Yeah. Okay, and totally having a study space is also really good too. Um, having somewhere that's like really comfortable for you. So like, where do you think is somewhere that like makes you comfortable when you study? Um, I like doing it in here, like in the in the library, but also the library gets like really cold. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I should be wearing like gloves in here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Chilly. It, yes. But I haven't really tried to study many places though. Like, I it's a little more difficult at my house because mm -hmm. there's more distractions, and also that's where all my fun stuff is. Yes, right? The distractions and fun stuff, we're totally going to talk about that too. Mm -hmm. So like having like a place that is like almost good, but it's like a little too cold, mm -hmm. or like having a place that could be comfortable, but it's like maybe a little loud or has too much or stuff that you like really enjoy. So it's like distractions are even easier. Um, or like let alone your bed. <laughs> I'm not going to stay outside, it's too hot now. Exactly. Yeah. It's almost like there's just, it's just too many places to try and then it's just not perfect enough. And yeah. so definitely if we can like find a place or make something as almost as comfortable as we can. Mm -hmm. So that way we at least want to be there, you yeah. know, or that when we are there, we're kind of like, all right, I'm going to get this done right now. And I'm like ready, you know, um, maybe if that's like maybe having some tea or something to like help keep warm, <laughs> but definitely it's cold to like, that's really hard, let alone be hot or yeah. rainy. <laughs> well, I think my house, my house feels better mm -hmm. now, now than it used to, probably because I have more stuff to do, so I can't get as distracted. Yeah, you know. But yeah, so sometimes like my parents will be like walking around, or like my cat will want to play with me, and I'm yeah. like, no. Or my my dog will play with me; he'll just stare at me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no. Totally relate to that. Not right now. Yes. <laughs> Totally relate, or they want to go outside, or maybe you're looking at some dishes and you're just like, oh my gosh, what's that? It's chores, whatever it is. Sometimes that totally, totally happens. 
So let's talk about, like, like you were saying, the different spaces that we have. So we have some study rooms. Um, like you said, that can kind of be maybe cold sometimes or finding a way to bring a jacket. Well, we just bring a jacket. Um, I know I have some um, fuzzy socks in my office. And so that's something that literally I kind of just keep next to my desk. And I just do that. I even know um, we have one of our tutors here. Like you can see them right now, I don't think so. <laughs> but they have like a blanket that literally they just wear because I guess it gets like really cold over here. Um, but those are just the different things that we can do to kind of help us, like you know, um, try to make something more convenient. Mm -hmm. And even though student union has like seating, um, so that can be good. Mm -hmm. Um, we're just kind of finding for that space may be, but we can totally talk about that too. Okay, so. Did you know that 95% of students report that they procrastinate on assignments and studying? That is like a lot of people. And I think it just proves that we're not alone in this, you know, like lots of students procrastinate, um, but it's more about how we're gonna try to help ourselves to procrastinate. So kind of things we were talking about as far as like why people will procrastinate. Maybe something too challenging, maybe it's boring or overwhelming or too easy or perfect or to just naturally get distracted. And so um, we can kind of work with that um, and see like what we can do as far as organizing ourselves. Okay. And of course, having a good mindset to make those boundaries and um, try to make those goals is going to, of course, help you too. So that way, you know, like, okay, my goal for this week is maybe to um, complete all my homework for the weekend so I can, like, just chill. Like, that could be a really good goal. Or even just a little as something as I want to study for, um, like, an hour today, you know, versus, like, maybe doing it tomorrow. <laughs> and it can be as simple as whatever you'd like it to. Perfect. So let's talk about some tips, right? And so these are some of my favorite ones that I love to share. Um, they're really easy to get to use. Um, they're in your packet and um, also available online. So um, we just put together some links that I'll definitely share with you, Catherine. Um, and we'll just get into them. So the first one that I love is called the Pomodoro Method. And so basically studies have shown that people are only able to focus for about 30 minutes and like no more than that, if that. And so something we can do to kind of offset that hard to focusness is like using, um, working in like really small chunks. So for example, um, studying for like 20 or 25 minutes, and then giving yourself like a small break, maybe going outside, doing something fun, and then doing it again. So that way you uh, can get through your work. Also, breaking up your work in smaller pieces is a really good way to um, kind of get them done too. And so we totally recommend doing that, um, especially if you, you know, you don't want to kind of rush your work sometimes you feel like we're just getting from the top to the bottom to say that we're done that's not really always the best way to work on our assignments or um or the study so that's a really good tip too that's also in your packet so also um making it fun by building in rewards so sometimes if we look at our assignments right and say like maybe giving ourselves like a point value to work on them or like rewarding yourself with something, whether that's like maybe having your favorite snack or spending some extra time like with whatever, whoever you love or whatever you want to do. That can be a really good way of like motivating yourself to like, okay, let me get this done. So um, what do you think is something that would like to motivate you to like getting like um, finishing your sentence? Um, I could get like a treat or something. Yeah. What do you think it? Um, well, I, I get like both Dairy Queen or something. They got good things there also because it's like um, right off the exit. Yeah. And I don't, I don't take the exit to get here, but but I, I, I take the initiative to get to work. Okay. So, so like all the way to work. work. Oh, no, that sounds amazing. Literally, um, it's just like Wendy's is like right across the street. Yeah. And so <laughs> you're from town. I love ice cream too. So when you said dairy cream, I was like, yes. 
So um, I've been trying to challenge myself to, to not be in the winter's line as often. <laughs> so that way when I do get it, I can like appreciate it a little bit more and, yeah. and not kind of just like, because I, I, I go crazy once I like something. And then, and then yeah, it's just a mess. And so what I'd like to do is like maybe go like um, one day out of the week or or like um or like getting a big one versus like a little one, <laughs> you know, and just kind of um you know also attributing it to my work too um so that way like if I finish something big maybe at the end of on Friday I can be like oh my gosh we have my favorite ice cream on the way home and like really relax now and so I think that that would be like a really cool way of rewarding myself for you know like not not going as often um and like getting what I want and kind of like enjoying it you know because I'll get it and feel bad <laughs> yeah. and and that's not cool you know maybe maybe my reward could be like we'll go roll the shade exactly exactly and especially towards like the end of the semester when we think about some of like the things that we're like brainstorming of like what could be like a good reward like that could be really good too like oh my gosh the end of the semester you can get luck whatever you luck so as we're talking about like how are we going to keep kind of using this momentum that we have now as far as like keeping organized and this is definitely some ways that we can do that so thinking about like what your plan is or even like what your story is or like why you're here in college right i know for me um i came to college and i was really nervous and excited at the same time um because i didn't know how to organize myself let alone and i was nervous i would like miss something and that's totally totally normal as well and i just had anxiety but i was excited and i didn't know how i was going to make friends it was just crazy um but i did know that i really wanted to do something and help people you know um and now i'm able to um you know have done different things and really like work with students that I like. So mm -hmm. I think this is like a really cool way to like teach, you know, some, some stuff that probably you're already doing or like have a way of, um, but also have us thinking about like our future and, you know, going through these two years together. So I think that that'll be really, really fun. So um, as far as um, you, what do you think is something that like motivates you to be awesome in like school and like life? I want to try to like challenge myself because I'm like I'm like good at at school, yeah. but I'm not like like academic, you know. Like I'm just kind of like good at it, but I don't push myself at all. So okay. I want to maybe just uh, you know find like also find like better habits. Mm, absolutely, and I love that goal, right? Sometimes um you know being able to like find that or push ourselves, like you said, um, can be difficult, but also being able to just be aware of what you want, that kind of like help us get, like put one second from the other. Yeah. So I love that. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Perfect. Perfect. So um, what we're going to do now, actually, um, well, this is like my email and that's my um, supervisor's email. Um, she's also another coach and super helpful um, resource to reach out to if you ever need. Um, but I want to, I want us to do an activity together if we have the time. Let me oh, yeah. Okay. It is 11.24. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, awesome. I want to keep it like not too long. Okay, so let's get out of this. Sorry, give me one sec. I'm kind of fine. Okay, so I am good or I'm gonna give you a sheet of paper. Um <laughs> 
Okay. And so if we can, um, we're definitely going to do this in person, but um, Catherine, can you see if you're still there, um, which I believe you are. Oh, no, she's not there anymore. Okay, awesome. Well, not awesome, but um, she's not there. Okay. Um, I said it's like someone in Sam. Yeah. Oh, maybe she isn't. Cool. What would that mean? Water. Water. Okay, so something I wanted to do um, is to be able to pull out like your schedule if you're able to, mm -hmm. um, as far as like your assignments that you have coming up this week, and we're going to do an activity together. Mm -hmm. And that is this cool like assignment calendar. Yeah, I'm going to see it. It's not as good on the phone as it is on the computer. You can pull up on the computer if you like. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, totally. Like full access, it works with your community um, information. Very cool. Yeah, when you're able to pull that up, or oh, I see the computer's loading, just let me know. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. 